All right, now, last one before I forget. The Thin Bloods. Now, as I talked before about Generation, well, I don't know how this is going to be set, but um, it talked in a previous one about how the higher your generation, the further you are removed from their first vampire cane. Well, here's the thing. Kindred can't reproduce. They have, and each bloodline has their own set of abilities, strengths, and weaknesses. The Thin Bloods don't have this. Some of them have even been known to breed or even go out in the sun. They are stronger than humans, but they need blood still. So, and here's the thing. A lot of the older vampires will hunt the Thin Bloods. Thin Bloods often don't know what they are, so they, they're usually just tossed out. But uh, Thin Bloods, or the Caitiff, uh, I've heard that term thrown around. They have a unique, uh, there is a unique ability that uh, some Enterprise and Caitiff have found out. And that is almost a blood alchemy. They can bestow upon them abilities, provided they have certain blood sources, so they can, in fact, gain abilities from, say, a Nosferatu or a Macavian or even the Tremere. And I think those who are aware of that are more nervous of that. Um, it's been said by some sources that we've had to work with that uh, some people, the ghouls, find that caitiff are a bit of a anomaly. All the vampires, the kindred, they think it is a sign of the end times, a version of the apocalypse, a Gehenna. It's just... I don't know what to believe. Most times we find thin bloods. They don't even know why they have to drink blood. I mean, I don't even want to call them kindred. They're kind of something all new. But just... Because some of them, they, you know, they will be thin bloods and they just want to live and enjoy their time. Which, eh, they skin off my nose. If, as long as you're not hurting anybody, then, eh. They're on ahead. There are ways to get blood nowadays. So, it's just when things turn into attacking people for the sake of attacking, that's what we're going to have to step in. There have been a few times where thin bloods with just a major chip on their shoulder have done a lot of murdering and we've had to step in. And the funny part is we've had to step in for the behalf of the kind, us humanity, or and we'll usually be along with the sheriff of the area because <laughs> they're like well what are you doing like, we're, we're trying to stop this what about you and they're like well and the funny part is something like oh um, they, they'll completely not sell that we already know about the masquerade and all the shenanigans we know that's why we're it's like we fully we as soon as we get like a sheriff coming in it's like we understand who you are we understand what you are we understand the Prince of Baron's going to be pissed off that one of the caitiff are not doing what they're told. And usually that gets them, oh, yo. And as soon as we tell them they're hunters, that usually just throws another spanner in the whole fucking works. But, I mean, that's really what we are. But we're not, we're a little bit more, I, I think the liberal t term is liberal with our definition. As we've said before, I think even my associate, which... Hasn't been back in a while. I may have to call him later. Anyway. I know he's got a little bit of backup, so... Anyway. Um, the the caitiff, it depends on who and where they are. There are the... There's a group of caitiff that help establish, like, the perfect drinks... For some of the highest of Ventru. And they would look at kind emotions. Like people would make wine. Super happy. Super angry. Super better. Da, 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 da. That all gives a flavor to the wine. As though I've been told. I think, you know, I've only tasted my own in all honesty. <laughs> Tastes like iron to me. But. They get that flavor from it. And they raise some kind to be the best to drink from for certain things 
Which that that's a big no no for us. So although one enterprising uh caitiff what was it? Uh I know it wasn't in Canada, but it was we were on the northern border. Uh I think it may have been Montana. But anyway, smart smart person understands hey there is this need here, starts establishing a market. And he actually has written contacts with all the kind saying, you must do this to establish this flavor. And it's all written out contract-wise. And, you know, after so many drinks, they actually will, you know, you'll get... I, from, I've seen him, and actually a very intelligent person. Uh, one of them got a doctor on it, make sure everything's nice and clean. Because we heard that there were kidnappings in there. We found this, like, okay, we need to start burning this guy, the snake here. And pulls out every contract, we do a search of the area, and not a problem. Granted, Kate were probably the easiest to kill. So it's just, okay. Had a lot of money, and understood that he had to pay the fine donors. So, uh, as it stands, he put it that he can only do a tasting with one or two at a time, doesn't do big parties. Uh, has a, I think I saw, what was it, a Bruja and a Malkavian for guards, which, fine. Uh, they do blood bags, which, that's not bad either. I, I mean, honestly, if you think uh, Kindred are these just beasts, you're going to understand that they are human, plus or minus a few things. So, <laughs> but no, it was very enterprising, and the people there seemed happy. We didn't see anything overly problematic. No one wanted to leave, and... If it was something like presents, or someone was being brainwashed, it would, there would have been other things like different drugs. How things are going to be done. I mean, they understand how to get the best emotions. It's like, we would probably look at it as uh, respectful farming practices. But instead of farming, it's, you know, respectful donation practices. But yeah, I mean, got a good bit of cash going. I mean, as long as everyone's happy. I don't... The funny thing is... Three kindred maybe, you know, sound, oh, we have to go in, but there, Montana is a, hey, there's hunters all over the woodwork there. So, I'm sure the other hunters are already looking at it. Going, you step out of line, and we're going to have your ass to ash in a, you know, a couple seconds flat. But it's a nice little thing, because the caitiff also, the caitiff owner usually goes, hey, uh, there's this, uh, there are these guys coming through that you may want to be aware of. It's nice. Which, sorry, I, I, I don't think any kindred are going to listen to this, so. And the caitiff, they don't want it talking about it, but you have to find the caitiff first. I mean, not many people are even aware of it. But that's in Montana. Uh, but yeah, their blood alchemy is one of the things that usually will unnerve some of the elders. Uh, some have even been known to walk in the sun for a little while without damage or even having kids. Like, you know, get a bird or if you're a bird, get a dude and go have a little fun time behind, you know, whatever. And, yeah, you know, your mommy and daddy kind of kid, not uh, elder child, kindred sort of thing. But, yeah, so I think that's where it's going. But a lot of people are nervous about it because the further you step away from Cain... Uh, the less power it's going to get, and more other things will pop up. So, I think that is the caitiff. I hopefully you've enjoyed this. I am going to go see how my partner's doing. Signing off.